So how do you use the Quadro Reference Viewer? Launching and installing the program is simple. All you have to do is double click the executable and you're going to see in the lower right hand corner of the screen that it's Quadro is ready and click here to get started. If I click that arrow you're going to see the Quadro icon and if I right click that you're going to see right at the very top I have add image. Basically what I'm going to do is add a bunch of images to a reference preset that I'm going to save out and if I ever need to come back to that reference preset I want to make sure all my reference images are all set up exactly where and how I want them. It's going to save me a lot of time switching back and forth between projects. So like I said the first thing I'm going to do is right click Quadro and go to add image. So I've got a Quadro folder here and it's full of references. So let's say I'm going to start on some environment concepts. So I'm going to go into that folder and if I want to I can just double click one image and that'll load it up or I can control click individual images if I want to do that or I can just left mouse and just swipe over those and I'm just going to load all these at once. So I'm going to hit open. It's going to put those images right in the middle of my screen. Um, I have kind of a pseudo two monitor set up here on my one monitor just to kind of ex show you how I would normally work. I've got my left side monitor which I usually have my program that I'm working in and then I've got another monitor on the right side that I'll have my references an email inbox window, I'll have maybe an IM chat and a VLC media player window. So the good thing about Quadro is I can work Quadro around my screen as opposed to having to work my screen around, around Quadro. How I'm moving these images around, I'm just left mouse clicking and moving them around. Very intuitive system. And if I want to resize these, you're going to see these dots in the lower upper left and the lower right. If I just click those, I can resize the image. If I want to pan around my image, I can middle mouse click and move around the image. If I want to zoom in or zoom out, all I got to do is middle mouse wheel. And I can very quickly start to move these around and frame areas that I want for my environment concept. Um, if you notice any images that you don't want to have open, since I just clicked a bunch of images and opened them, uh, all I need to do is I can right click and hit close, or I can click an image in here, and then I can hit the backspace key, and that'll go ahead and get rid of those images I don't need. Uh, once I have all the images set up that I want, let's say uh, this is how I want my images to look. And again, just very quickly, left mouse dragging, left mouse dragging the corners to reposition those, middle mouse dragging the pan, and then middle mouse scrolling to zoom in and zoom out. If I like this setup here, I can go ahead and go back into Quadro, right click, and go to Save As. Uh, where you want to save these presets is kind of up to you. If you're pulling these images from a network drive, you can have a folder just full of reference presets, or in the reference folder itself, you can go ahead and save that preset. I'm going to go ahead and save it in my reference folder. I'm going to call this Environments. Go ahead and click Save. So let's say I'm working on these environment concepts, and now I need to go ahead and switch to something else really quickly. I'm going to go back in the Quadro, and I'm going to go to Close Preset, and that's going to go ahead and close this preset down, clear my screen. I'm going to go back into Quadro, go to Add Image, and this time, let's say I need to work on a character. I'm going to go into my character folder, grab some character images, and I'm going to go ahead and position them around on my screen. Again, just left mouse clicking and zooming in with my middle scroll wheel here. And once I've got those positioned, let's say I'm working on a character helmet this time. So I'm going to go ahead and frame some helmets up. And I need a little bit more helmet reference, so I'm going to go back into Quadro, right click, and we'll go to Add Image here, and I'm going to go to this Aviation Helmet Reference Images. I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom, shift click, open those all up at once. And the other cool thing about Quadro is it's got very low profile windows. You can see how thin these frames are. There's not a lot of wasted space, so I can really maximize how much of my screen is being used for uh, having reference images up. So I'm going to go ahead and place these really quickly around my screen here. And if there, again, if there's any that you don't want, you can just hit the backspace key or right click and close. And if you're happy with this, let's go ahead and go back into Quadro, go to Save As, and we will call this Helmet. And I'm going to go ahead and put that with the uh, other reference, the REF is the reference files that we have. So this is my Helmet reference. Um, let's say I need to get a little bit more uh, I've, I've done the basic helmet, now I need to go and do kind of the details of the helmet. Well in that case I don't need the concept images anymore, so I'm going to go ahead and close those out. And I'm going to go grab some more reference images. Go to add image here, and we can go into the character folder here, or the aviation helmet folder. And these last two images that I didn't keep in my previous set, I'm going to go ahead and open those back up. And let's say I'm just doing some detail work here, so I'm just going to look at uh, this mouthpiece here. Um, He's got some cool details going on here. Uh, this one's not, I don't say I don't need that one, but this one has a couple places for cool details. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on this area here. I'm going to control left click and drag out a copy of this one and zoom in on another area. 
and let's zoom in on this area here. And if for any reason you want to flip this horizontally, you can right click that and flip it horizontally or vertically, whatever works for what you're working on over here. So again, Quadro is working around me. Also, if for any reason you want to lock any of these images to the top, all you got to do is right click that image, go to always on top, and it's going to frame it by a red border here. And what that's going to do is always keep this image on top. No matter what programs I'm clicking, it's always going to be on top if that's how you want to um, have your images react. I'm going to go ahead and do always on top there, turn that off. And another thing you can do that's very useful is once you got all your images set and you don't want to accidentally click and move an image, all you need to do is go back into Quadro and choose lock images. Now when you're clicking around your screen, you can still move your programs of course, but you're not going to be able to move those images. Let's say we like this one. I'm going to go back into Quadro, go to Save As, and we'll go ahead and call this Helmet Details here. And let's go ahead and quit out of Quadro. Let's say I'm done for the day and uh, I'm done working and go ahead and shut my computer down. Come in the next morning, I go ahead and launch up all my programs, and let's say I want to jump back in there and do some environment work. I'm going to open up Quadro again. It's ready to go. Go back in here. I'm going to go to Open, and I can load up my ref uh, environment's reference, and boom, ready to go. Um, let's go ahead and close that. Let's say I need to start working on characters again. I'm going to close that preset, go into Quadro, and you can, I'm going to go to, go to this Open Recent, and I'm going to go to Helmet Details, and that's going to launch up my Helmet Details, ready to work on Helmet Details. So as you can see, Quadro is a very fluid, very low profile, very easy program to work with, very intuitive program. And if there's anything else you want to know about the program, you can right click the icon, go to About, and here it's going to take you to the website for Quadro. Uh, any mouse controls that you may have missed or forgotten about, or any shortcuts. I haven't used all of them, but there's shortcuts for everything I've done in this video. So I hope you like Quadro as much as I do. Have fun using it. and hopefully saving many, many hours of reopening reference images.